Area 51, a pop culture icon, secret military base, and a home to aliens and their technology. 27 miles from the small town of Rachel, Nevada is where you will find the home of Area 51, a United States military base. Although the United States military declares they do not know anything about Area 51, you are still able to see and hear about it in Google Images, pictures, eyewitnesses, and past workers. Area 51 has other names such as Groom Lake Test Facility, Dreamland Resort, and Paradise Ranch. Area 51 can be considered not to be a paradise for security reasons. Many uses of security take place in Area 51. It's difficult to locate Area 51 since it's not on any map. The airspace over the area is heavily restricted and high fences surround the perimeter. Trespass here at your own risk. If you're on the ground, the, uh, there are sensors all over the place to pick up motion of things that shouldn't be there. And as one guy called them, the camo dudes, guys in camouflage outfits in their jeeps will come creeping after you. If you're in the air, they will send fighters up after you. The helicopters have some serious armament. When they shoot you, you're going to be dust. Here you are able to hear audio of men spotting the security guards. The sense that we're getting closer and closer to no man's land, and I, I'm, I'm, frankly, getting a, a little leery here. But I feel committed to going on at least to the sign that says I can't go on any further. We've already passed the sign that says don't take any more pictures, and we're breaking that rule. Roads get. Oh, here comes the sign. Here comes oh, the yeah. sign. Let's yeah. see what it says. What's this one say? The first one, can you read it? Restricted area. No trespassing beyond this point. Warning. Nellis bombing and gunner. Off limits to unauthorized personnel. I still don't see anything about lethal. It is unlawful to enter this area without permission of insulin. While on this insulin, okay. It doesn't say anything about you'll be shot. What'd you see up there, Mike? It's, it's some sort of uh, uh, probably a motion detector device of some sort. It's just to the left of the sign, huh? Yes, do you see it? Yes, I do. You get a good steady shot of that. Right. You want to go up closer to it? No. We're going to get out of here now. Well, we went to the edge of the, this road as far as we could go. I mean, there was more road beyond these signs, but these are fairly serious signs. So we stepped back but we're certainly in a we're in an area where be, just if only because of its history things uh, potentially uh, uh, could happen or might happen or do happen I mean there's a lot of mythology written about this very area that we're standing in and it, it affects it affects the way you perceive it it's, and it's very quiet and it's very beautiful Mike there's dust coming from just beyond the ridge oh we're getting the hell out of here because as as we were there Steve spotted, spotted dust coming towards us. So we figure that maybe they're sending a vehicle after us. So we're going to try and get the fuck out of here. Here it comes. It's behind us. I'm, I'm on. I'm stepping on it. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Well, well let's see. Here. Just take it easy. I mean, okay. don't. You're, you're admitting guilt or something here. Okay. If they pull us over. Well, this table, we came to the UFO. We stopped at the signs. Yes, we, we didn't go beyond the signs. One might wonder why there is such a tight security in such a restricted area. The answer is aliens. Aliens have been a part of culture for centuries. Let it be little green men running around to large black aliens that are ready to eat your face off. Let alone do we think that aliens are held in Area 51, but also technology. Bob Lazar, a work at Area 51, was stationed with work of the alien technology. Bob Lazar who claims he worked at an ultra-secret division of Area 51 called S-4. S-4 was built and maintained only for one reason, and that was to house and to test uh, any other recovered alien technology vehicles. Lazar says he was a trained physicist at the Los Alamos nuclear facility, and that in 1989 he was approached about a secret government research project and flown to Area 51. Lazar initially thought the spaceship had been developed by the U.S. military. So they said, this is an alien craft, and we want to be able to duplicate it, and we want to know how the thing works. As the senior staff physicist, Lazar was in charge of analyzing the ship's propulsion system. Here was an incredibly complex system. There weren't 
that there was nothing even as simple as wiring connecting subsystems together. So the, it, it operated more like magic. What is the point of America keeping the idea of aliens at Area 51 a secret? France had recently made reports of over 1,600 UFO cases public for everyone to see. The data suggests that the idea of UFO and alien sightings have been made by government officials. Time and time again, reports are flooded in of UFO sightings right outside the Las Vegas area. Why does America have to hide their findings? The citizens don't want, but have the right to know what is going on. Area 51 is full of aliens and alien technology.